This figure is a semicircle with diameter AB. AB is 10 units, and in the semicircle are two line segments. AC and AD. AC is X units, and AD is equal to 8 units. If angle CAD is equal to angle DAB, find the value of X. Before we proceed, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, feel free to pause the video and give it a try, and tell us your answer in the comment section. To solve this problem, first let's angle CAD be theta. Since angle CAD is equal to angle DAB, angle DAB will also be theta. Next, let's draw a straight line to join B and D, and another straight line to join C and B. Let's recall the circle theorem of angle in a semicircle, which states that angle in a semicircle is equal to 90 degrees. From this theorem, observe that angle ACD and angle ADC are angles in a semicircle. It follows that each of the angles is equal to 90 degrees. Next, let's focus on triangle ABD. Since triangle ABD is a right triangle, from Pythagoras' theorem, AB squared is equal to AD squared plus DB squared. AB is equal to 10. AD is equal to 8. Substituting these values in the formula will give us 10 squared is equal to 8 squared plus db squared. If we make db squared the subject formula, we will have db squared is equal to 10 squared minus 8 squared. 10 squared is equal to 100. 8 squared is equal to 64. 100 minus 64 is equal to 36. So, db squared is equal to 36. Taking the square root of both sides will give us db is equal to 6. Also, in triangle ABD, from trigonometry ratio, sine theta is equal to db over AB. db is equal to 6. AB is equal to 10. It follows that sine theta is equal to 6 over 10, which is equal to 3 over 5. Cos theta is equal to AD over AB. AD is equal to 8. AB is equal to 10. It follows that cos theta is equal to 8 over 10, which is equal to 4 over 5. Next, let's focus on the triangle ABC. From trigonometry ratio, cos 2 theta is equal to AC over AB. AC is equal to X. AB is equal to 10. It follows that cos 2 theta is equal to x over 10. By cross multiplication, x is equal to 10 times cos 2 theta. Going further, let's recall that the trigonometric identity of double angle of cosine can be written in three forms as cos 2 theta is equal to 1, minus 2 sine squared theta. Cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos squared theta, minus 1. Cos 2 theta is equal to cos squared theta, minus sine squared theta. To find x, we are going to substitute cos 2 theta with any of these formulas. For this video, we are going to use these two formulas. If we substitute cos 2 theta with 1 minus 2 sine squared theta, x will be equal to 10 times 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. 
sine theta is equal to 3 over 5 and cos theta is equal to 4 over 5. If we substitute sine theta with 3 over 5 in the equation, we will have x is equal to 10 times 1 minus 2 times 3 over 5 squared. Now, let's focus on the bracket. 3 over 5 squared is equal to 9 over 25. So, we have 1 minus 2 times 9 over 25. 2 times 9 over 25 is equal to 18 over 25. And we are left with 1 minus 18 over 25. Let's subtract the fractions. The lowest common denominator of 1 and 25 is 25. 1 into 25 is 25, and 25 times 1 is 25. 25 into 25 is 1. 1 times 18 is 18. On the numerator, 25, minus 18 is 7. And we are left with 7, over 25. So, x will be equal to 10, times 7, over 25, which is equal to 70, over 25. 70, over 25, can be reduced to give us 14, over 5. Hence, x is equal to 14, over 5 units. If we substitute cos 2 theta, with cos squared theta, minus sine squared theta. x will be equal to 10 times cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. Sine theta is equal to 3 over 5. And cos theta is equal to 4 over 5. Substituting these values in the equation will give us x is equal to 10 times 4 over 5 squared minus 3 over 5 squared. Let's focus on the bracket. 4 over 5 squared is equal to 16 over 25. And 3 over 5 squared is 9 over 25. 16 over 25 minus 9 over 25 is equal to 7 over 25. So, x is equal to 10 times 7 over 25, which is equal to 70 over 25. Which can be reduced to 14 over 5. Hence, x is equal to 14 over 5 units. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.